Yo, what's up guys, and welcome. Today we are building my automatic chicken farm. This farm will automatically hatch our eggs, allow the chicks to turn into hens, and then once they are hens, it will automatically cull them for us, leaving the drops behind to accumulate for us to collect whenever we need them. Once it reaches this point, the chicken mob cap is freed up, and the cycle continues. Let's have a quick look as to how this farm works. At the very top here, this is of course where we have our seeds and our pair of breeding chickens below. On the floor below, our eggs accumulate and are then hatched. Our chicks then spend their lives here up until they reach adulthood and turn into hens. Once our chicks then mature and turn into hens, they then start dropping through the final floor to the room where they will then be cold and leaving the drops to accumulate for us over time, leaving the cycle to continue. Now then, let's get into the building side of things. Get yourself a nice flat stretch of land as usual. And then we start by building ourselves a little frame. So it's 4 meter 1 and then a 2. And we just make this nice and rectangular like so. Sweet. Just going to fill in this floor. I have a nice little foundation to work off. And now we can start by adding the first walls. When I'm down here, I'm just going to add the slopes as well. So we're going to use these guys, a 45 degree angle roof. Add one there and one there. And now we need to use some of these guys to lift it ever so slightly further. Nice. Now then from here we need to come out just a little bit. So we'll add one here, one here, one there, one there. So it looks like this. And then we fill this up like so. Now from this end we can start creating our little floor which will be like a little bit of a checkers board to be honest. So like so, just you know, leaving a hole. You know, solid hole, solid hole, and so on. Perfect. I'm going to start adding some beams at this point. So you want it to snap level with this floor. And then we'll add another beam on top. And that is just to give myself a nice little indicator. This is where the top floor will be. And I'll add a cross beam here. And cross beam there. That, that looks about right. Yeah, cool. Right from here, he's going to add some of these floors already, like so. Need exactly three, by the way. So this floor space, even though we can kind of take away half there later on, because our chickens will go in there, this floor space needs to be exact. So don't like shorten it there or anywhere else. Cool. Okay, from here we need to use either cage walls or the dark wood divider or I suppose you can even use this one as well just because they are thinner so we need to add these all around I'll just use these for now actually nah I'm gonna use these ones they look better in my opinion because we can't use the normal wall here because they are actually thicker so they will impede on these holes here so they'll actually cover them up partially so we need to use something that is a little bit thinner From here we need to add one of these, so you can do it from the side so you guys can just see better. So right in the middle here you should have a snap point there and a snap point there. So one of these guys a 1 meter and then a 2 meter on top. 
cool. We'll break those later on, but that is very important to keep our chickens moving around and not standing still. And it should look like so. From here we can add some walls on top here. And this side, this should be fine actually, because there will be a roof over here. So that's fine. Okay, now directly behind this one, we add ourselves a 45 degree roof. I'm going to use shingle because I like them. So snap it right in there. You should have a snap point directly in the middle, right there. Put it right there. And now at this stage, we can kind of start working from the top here. But directly on top of the shingle roof, we need some cage walls. So you'll have a snap point right there and there. And this needs to be iron because uh, they basically have no thickness to them. So we need to add them exactly here. If you use a normal wall, then it won't work. Perfecto. Just like that. And that's where our breeding pair of chickles will go in. Did I say chickles just now? <laughs> Obviously I meant chickens if I didn't say chickles. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add my roof over here. So we need to use the, not 26, the 45 degree corner roof. And that'll snap on here nicely. Perfect. Once we have the roof on, then they will give support to those two beams we added. So we now take out this one meter and that one meter there. And we close that back up. Looking splendid. I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of floor there, piece of floor there, and then we can add some of these final walls at the top here. Nice. And now from here you kind of, you can kind of choose for yourself what you want. Uh, you can either just use the normal floor but I am going to use um, some of these guys, the cage floor, because I like to see the chickens and they're actually, you know, eating and looking towards us as opposed to downwards. So from here, go ahead and you can chuck your eggs in here. So just take your two eggs, chuck them in here. Let me just add the flooring here for now. Go ahead, add your two eggs here. It'll be much easier just to hatch them up here. Pull a little roof over them. Just any old roof, really. And then from here, we just add something like a brazier. Actually, you know what? At this point, I'll add the brazier downstairs because it does reach them. So, what I do is I add a brazier right here. So, at the bottom here, I'm just going to go ahead and add myself some beams on these corners. Like so, and then we fill up these sides. Alright, from there, grab two of these, pop them in there, and then we grab a 26 degree roof, and it should clip right in there. From there, I'm going to take a 45 degree roof, and it should clip... Hang on. Why are you not clipping where I want you to? No, not there. There we go. So it should clip on this block here. Sweet. Now we just add ourselves a brazier. It's gonna smack it there. Give it some fuel. Then I'm gonna add another bit of roof, uh, another bit of roof rather, on top here, just to make this look a little bit better. So there. Cool. And then all that does is it just guides our smoke at an angle, so it goes away from the chickens. Cool. Up here, in the meantime, let me just check. I'm just going to add a better looking roof on here. There, there, and then these two eggs should be warm. There we go, that's warm, that's warm. Perfect. So yeah, I'll just wait for these guys to hatch. 
that brazier um, obviously warms them up as well as the eggs that will be falling on the bottom floor and it also stops the drops and the seeds at the top here from despawning. Once your chicks have turned into hens, we can now pop them into place. So go ahead and destroy these little bits there and there. Let me just see where this one slides in. So you need to keep them separate, not falling into the same little bit. So you go in there, you go in there, go on. Get. Get in there. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to add a cage floor here just to see them. But like I said, you can add normal floor as well. And from here, we just need to give them some seeds. You want to aim smack in the middle here so they can both reach it. So just aim there. Chuck your seeds right there. And then you should see both of them eating. It'll make a little uh, display icon. There goes one. There goes the other. And in a moment, love should be in abundance. There we go. And now at the bottom here for the final piece. I guess you can add yourself some stairs or something here. Let me just do this. And this little bit here we just need to add ourselves a little item holder. Item stand rather. So right in here. Not too difficult. And pop yourself exactly one pufferfish in there. And then that is the entire farm done. Go ahead, build your stairs as you wish. Like you guys saw in the initial bit of the video, I was obviously using a lot of the dark wood. So I've been using these uh, dark wood poles and so on for decoration. And so on and whatnot. So go ahead, decorate, go wild! And then just be mindful, don't add any beams here, or here, the poles here, that sort of thing. But apart from that, all good to go. And like I said, this floor needs to be exactly this amount, so don't reduce this floor space here. If you break your farm, by the way, if you look at your chickens, they should be facing upwards. See, they're looking at us at the moment. If they turn around and they start pointing downwards, that means you broke this part. So, yeah, you can use that like a little visual indicator of when you uh, messed up and then undo whatever it was that you did. And there we go. You are now the proud owner of a fully automated chicken farm. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. From here, uh, I'll be doing more tutorials, farms and that sort of stuff like this in the future. So if you guys like this sort of stuff, Feel free to subscribe and hang around. Wow, those chickens. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I just did really catch my attention. <laughs> but yeah, apart from that, thank you very much for watching. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. And this is me, Zerger, saying take care and bye-bye. <laughs>